welcome to Tenemes Anime Quickie 3. Today's quickie is dedicated to world genius. Are you guys ready for another quickie? He. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of like saying the word quickie. I'm sure it makes all you perverts out there giggle too. <laughs> okay, today's anime movie review is... Paprika. The world premiere of Paprika took place on the 63rd Venice Film Festival on September 2nd of 2006. The film saw official release on November 25th of 2006. The film was directed by the late Satoshi Kon, animated by Madhouse Studios, and produced and distributed by Sony Pictures Entertainment. This movie runs for 90 minutes. The film's music was composed by... Susumu Hirasawa, who also composed the soundtrack for Khan's award-winning film, Millennium Actress. Also a little interesting fact. The soundtrack is significant for being the first film to use a Vocaloid, and Lola was used for various tracks. Lola was the first female Vocaloid to ever be released, along with fellow Vocaloid Leon. Lola was released on the 15th of January in 2004, and she is commonly used for trance or techno music. Now, Paprika was based on Yatsutaka Satsui's 1993 novel of the same name, about a research psychologist who uses a device that permits therapists to help patients by entering their dreams. You already know that a movie about dreams is going to be pushed into the unreal category as to what you're going to see. Think about some of the dreams that you've had in the past. And how much sense they would make if viewed on like a television screen or something. Most people's dreams make very little sense to anybody other than the person having them. But to the person having them, at the time, they make perfect sense. <laughs> this technology is of course developed to help people. But something has gone wrong. Dr. Atsuko Chiba is a psychiatrist that treats her patients in their dreams under the alter ego known as Paprika. But with all advanced technology, there's always someone who wants that technology for themselves. And something always tends to go wrong due to someone's selfishness. Paprika, of course, takes it upon herself to right this wrong. And her adventures in the dream world get a little out of hand. I really enjoyed the animation of this movie. It was like somebody's imagination just exploded and sprayed all over the pages and then boom, we have a movie. There is endless creativity that explodes from this movie with every passing scene. You can go from a beautiful, happy, fairy-filled meadow to the deepest, darkest nightmares of a deranged mind. All in the blink of an eye. It's also the kind of movie where you don't want to blink because you're scared you'll miss something. It's exciting and really fun to watch. It really gets your mind going just trying to figure out what's going on half the time. But it's kind of fun being confused, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm going to give this movie a strong four stars out of five. If you have some free time, definitely check it out. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching, my viewing lovelies. Jamatine! Ah.